to fix this error 0xc 00007b it's a very common error and we can fix it by only two simple steps the very first step here is to open your favorite browser and here you need to type C++ redistributable download. So here you need to go to this um, Microsoft website and we need to download the Visual C++ and from here Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 2022 you can download you can also download the Visual Studio 2013 as well. So if you are running a very old computer and if you're using 64-bit then download the 64-bit and if you're using a 32-bit computer then you need to download the x86. So my recommendation is to download the Visual Studio Plus uh, for 2012, 12, 2013, 2015 at least 2000 till 2015 uh, till you need to download and install so here I would recommend to select the x64 if you do not know uh, uh, about your uh, processor because most of the time uh, almost every computer is 64 bit now alright so you can do that and if you're using ARM then you can select the ARM one. So this is the thing you need to download download the Visual Studio C++ redistributable files and you just need to install it. So let's say if I'm using a 64-bit computer I just need to select this 2013 one and it will download like this only a 7MB file and I just need to install it. Alright once this is done I'll just close it. Let me just cancel it because now here in the search icon type CMD and then you will get the best match. You don't have to open it. You need to click on run as administrator. So this uh, error, this 0xc00007b, this error comes generally when we uh, have uh, corrupted files of uh, redistributable C++ corruptions or if we do not have a uh, Visual Studio. So any which way, if you are going to reinstall the C++ redistributable files, it will not only refresh those uh, files, it will also install it. All right, so that can be done. And now we are going to fix if there is a, if there is any uh, corruption, any bug in the computer. So we just need to type CMD and the best match will be command prompt. And please make sure you click on run as administrator. And then we need to click on yes and here you need to type sfc space forward slash scan now just like that sfc space forward slash scan now and you just need to hit enter it will begin system scan and uh, this procedure might take five seven minutes or more than that depends on your computer's configuration and once this is done you just need to restart the computer and most probably the error code 0xc0007b is going to be fixed if this is, if this tutorial is helpful please hit the like and subscribe and please do let me know in the comment section if you have successfully done that and fixed this issue on your own all right i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day take care guys